Also, I should probably hit the, uh, and his stream marker here because we took so long to do that. Uh, you guys don't need to sit there on the screen for that for the VOD itself. That'd be stupid. But seeing that um, image of Kitty, well, not Kitty, but Majima all beat up in that opening cutscene makes me wonder if we're actually going to see when he dies or at least gets attacked. Anaki. Hmm? I got cash. Take some. 30,000. I was about to sell plates, dude. You don't need to do that. This is from an old connection in town. You could say that. There's no telling what might happen, so... That's true. Appreciate it. Oh boy, just gonna be chilling out here. Yeah, it felt- it felt weird to keep him in the village. Like... He's technically free. They're not even gonna come after him. There's no reason for- to keep him in some dumbass snow lodge. In the middle of nowhere. Hokkaido sure is cold. Hope I find a good place soon. Hopefully a really warm one too. What's a him? Haven't I seen this guy before? Wait, have we? Your luck today is terrible. Things won't be going your way, so avoid anything involving luck. <laughs> Don't gamble today. Do not. It's illegal. So my international friends. Hello my friends all over the world. I have a request for you today. Lately I've been able to take any haven't been able to take any of the perfect shots I've been that I long for, but I had an idea. I want all of you to upload any perfect shots that you take in this image hosting site. Okay. What's with this email? Some kind of mistake? Guess I'll check it out when I get the time. Also, there's just immediately something here. I see something. Questionable map scrap. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so, you found it at last. Who are you? Yikes, don't give me that look. I was just trying to create a little atmosphere. Er, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Tokuyama, head of the Tsukimino Merchants Association. What you picked up here is a key item in the treasure hunt event that we're holding right now. Treasure hunt? That's right. There are 24 other pieces just like the one you have, so that makes a total of 25 map pieces scattered around town. A single piece isn't much use, but as you collect the others, you can put them together to make treasure maps. There are five treasure maps in total. In other words, each is a split into five pieces. Ah, huh, so five treasure maps are scattered around town. Split into 25 pieces? That's right. And what's more, the completed treasure maps take form of riddles. We racked our brains and came up with the toughest riddles we could. Only those who solved them can claim the treasure. So what do you say? Have I got you all fired up to go on a treasure hunting adventure? Guess I'll pick him up if I spot him. Oh, don't play coy with me. I know you're all revved up and ready to go, you old grump. Er, anyway, I hope you enjoy the event. <laughs> He's like, don't fuck it with me right now. Can we... So here's the thing. Last time, it was kind of excusable that no one else ratted us out. But... We actually know that not only was our escape, what the fuck, televised. But it was on a huge screen in the middle of town that we were staring at at the same time. And no one looked over and was like, <gasps> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. But also, why is there just a knocked out Santa here? What? I just, I just did a post on Twitter with Kiryu in a Santa outfit too, so this is amazing. <laughs> There's another scrap here, too. I was like, what is that? What is your deal? Hey, you alright? I got beat up by a gang of Santa hunters. Santa hunters? Look, can you just tell me if you're alright? Yeah, I think so. Santa hunters? As if homeless hunters weren't enough. Now we have Santa hunters. Well, you can stand at least. That's a good sign. Yes, sorry to have troubled you. No worries. What was that you said earlier? Something about Santa hunters? They're a gang of delinquents. They make a game of beating up retail workers wearing Santa costumes. Wow, bunch of punks. 
Because of them, people don't consider the shopping district a safe place anymore. Ruins the festive move entirely. I'll give them a good talking to. I'll give those kids a talking to. Pardon? You're gonna what? Lecture them? How? They go at their Santas, right? Let me your outfit. You're going to use yourself as bait? That's nuts! They got close to 10 kids. By yourself, you couldn't possibly. Wasn't planning on fighting them. They might just listen to reason. I doubt that. Don't worry. If things get ugly, I'll cut and run. I won't push it. Okay. I don't I don't believe him for a second. He just wanted the outfit. Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Alright. This should make the Santa Hunters come looking for me. Please be careful. They carry weapons, and they're not shy about using them. I'll be fine. Alright, let's find these so-called Santa Hunters. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just Sajima in this big ass Santa outfit. How'd they even find one that fits him? He's huge. Hey, it's Santa. Uh oh. Yay! <laughs> Cute kids. Wearing this get up around town ain't so bad. <laughs> Santa, can I have my present now? Oh, oh, what about me? Sorry, Tex. Ain't got nothing on me. At least not stuff that would make good gifts for you. Huh? No fair. I want my present. Please, Santa. Oh, no presents. I don't got my, uh, sleigh with me. Why didn't you bring it? <laughs> Look, it's Santa. I want my present. What? Santa? <gasps> He's here. <laughs> Santa, can I sit on your lap? Do you have a present for me? What the hell? Where'd all these kids come from? Wait a minute. Oh boy. Hey. You all go home and wait till Christmas to get your presents. Aww. I can't wait that long. Please, I can't have it now, Santa. Let me go get my friends. They want presents too. Joke. No. Don't tell any other kids I'm here. I just posted online where Santa is. Everyone's coming. Oh god, of course the one. Precocious child. <laughs> oh no. You posted what? Santa, how come you don't have my present? <laughs> hey, I was here first. Ugh, I gotta just make a break for it. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? Who did I just run past? In in the pink. I'm booking it away from a bunch of kids. Oh my god, get away. <laughs> ah! Looks like I gave him the slip. <laughs> <laughs> they actually had us run! Those can't possibly be the Santa Hunters though, right? Good thing I got away from all that. Huh? Hey Santa, got some presents for us? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Ah, you must be the Santa Hunters. I've been looking for you. You found us, old Nick, and we're so happy to see you. Our third Santa today! What? We're the town's best Christmas carolers, bashing your head in the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, over the killing fields we go. Laughing all the way. Why are you doing this? Trust me, we're doing what everyone else wishes they could do. Who isn't sick of all this Christmas shit every fucking year? Yeah, just look at what you're wearing, man. Fucking stupid. Hey, you got girlfriends or something? Huh? Shut up! Just shut the hell up! Too bad your girlfriend won't be here to wash the blood out of your dinky suit. Well, damn. Yeah, he was never gonna just talk to them. <laughs> never in a million years. Is this motherfucker trying to hit me with a chain? Bitch, he's got a fucking nunchuck. Finish this. Yo, does, did he actually drop it? No. I don't think a Saijima can actually use those either, which is kind of unfortunate. Too big dumb. Wait, is that a fucking sleigh? Hold up. Ow, 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 ow. No, I wanna use that. Let me pick it up. Oh, I can't. Man! Okay, that's bullshit. I'm upset. How dare. That's pretty good. Whoop! Ow! Damn. Come here. 
And slam jam. Ugh. Stop, stop! We're really, really sorry. Let me sing you a carol now. Okay, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> oh my god, the kids found you. You kids! Like I said, I ain't got nothing for you. Come on, you're Santa. How could you not have presents? I'm all out. Well, except for these things here, I guess. Wait, those are ours. Wow, baseball bats. Just wait, don't those have spikes on them? Sports fan, huh? Take as many as you like, then. Awesome! I want this thing over here, Santa. Nunchuck. You like Kung Fu? Yeah! I watch Kung Fu movies all the time! Yeah! Not my Nunchuck! Those cost me a fortune! Seems fair to me. The kids could use some real Christmas cheer after you've taken them from, from them all season. Damn. You got a problem with that, though. I'm all ears. Your call. Uh, it's okay. Go ahead, little bros. Take all you want. Yay! This is the best Christmas ever. Thanks, Santa! <laughs> I can get used to this Santa gig. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, ho, ho. I can't believe. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a little surprised we couldn't use the sled to actually hit them. They even got little Christmas trees back here. There's a lot, actually. Uh... Hmm? What's with us finding people in back alleys today? First we find an unconscious Santa, now this lady all huddled up. What's the matter for you? Hey little lady, what's wrong? You look like you're gonna faint. I... I am okay. Do you know Matsuo Lamb Barbecue? It's a restaurant. You wanna know where it is? Yeah. No, I know where it is. I checked online. So what's going on? Why are you so unsteady on your feet? I've been fasting a really long time because I'm getting ready to eat the best lamb barbecue ever. My empty stomach's the best seasoning. Nuts to that, I thought you were in real trouble. <laughs> what the f- what? I know. Wait, please. Could you take me to Matsuo Lamb Barbecue? I I'm not sure I can stand up straight much longer. <sighs> Fine. Where is it? On Nakatsuki Street. Alright, I'll take you there. It's nearby. Oh, thank you very much. We're gonna find out that she, like, clears them out or something crazy. <clears throat> this is it, right? Matsuo Lamb Barbecue. <sighs> yes! Finally, I can enjoy the legendary lamb barbecue. Alright, little lady. Mind if I go now? Wait, let me treat you to dinner. Thanks for bringing me here. No need for that. I haven't fallen so low that I let a young person feed me. Yeah. Please, aren't people your age always asking young people to show more gratitude? <laughs> Alright, nice comeback. <laughs> Wonderful. My name is... Mami? Mami Yamashita. Hmm. I'm a food jur- uh-oh. Food journalist. Does that mean we're gonna have to go to places for an article? So, you're eating here for your job? <laughs> Oh no, this is my private time. So there's no problem with me treating you. Alright then, I'm Sajima. You shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure they said your name on that news report. Let's not waste any time, Sajima-san. The lamb barbecue here is legendary. The lands are selected from the best flocks in New Zealand, and the sauce is made according to a secret recipe that took 10 years to perfect. Everyone says this place blows the competitors away. Yeah, you know a lot about the joint, even before a single bite. Well, it's the reputation is why I've been fasting since yesterday. Huh? You said you were fasting for a long time. One day ain't a long time. Saijima-san, why don't you let me order for the both of us? I've done all the research. Alright then, it's on you, little lady. This is the famous lamb barbecue. Smells good. Don't hold back. Let's eat. So many noms. <laughs> Great stuff. Lamb ain't even gamey. Isn't it amazing? It's leagues beyond the other places with lamb barbecue. 
Yo, this is so worth the fast. I could keep on eating this forever. Wow, she's still going. <laughs> oh god. Incredible. So good. Hey, you done yet? I gotta go. Though I am amazed at how much you can put it away. <laughs> this is normal for me. I usually eat about three big bowls of just rice. I love rice. Oh yeah? By the way, Saijima-san, what do you do for work? Uh, well, you know, this and that. I see. She doesn't care. <laughs> what about you? You do food you do food journalists full time? Unfortunately, no. I also do some acting, like in TV dramas. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'm not a big star or anything, but I like it. And I also want to do voice acting eventually. I'm a little curious because they have a tendency to put actual people in these games. Yep, that's a real person. <laughs> Man, she's not even that much older than me. What the hell? She's in Dungle Rooms? Really? She portrays Rurika Ando in Danganronpa. Huh, ain't that some shit. Uh-huh. Uh, may I ask you something? It's important. Uh, what is it? Come on, spit it out. I think I might order more barbecue. Do you mind? How? <laughs> this girl's still eating. That was absolutely fabulous. I'm never happier than when I'm eating good food. You okay with springing for dinner? Of course. I ate most of it, after all. Eh, good point. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. What? Would you tell me the tastiest thing you've eaten recently? What do you mean? It's something that I always ask whenever I meet someone new. That's how I found out about Matsuo Lamb Barbecue. This question has led me to so many delicious food discoveries, so I'm certainly going to keep asking it. I gotcha. Alright, the tastiest thing recently. Well, it had to be deer stew. Deer stew? I've never had that. I had it at this one hunting village. Got lost in a blizzard, and the man who saved me gave me some. Best meal of my life. And what did it taste like? You know, I heard deer had a peculiar odor to it, but all I know is the stuff smelled great. Could have been the miso, I guess. They don't boil the deer meat all the way through. They serve it while it's still nice and tender. The whole thing was fantastic. Wow, a brand new flavor. One I've never tried before. I can't wait to taste it. Well, next time I'm on the mountain, I'll hunt you some deer. It'll be my thanks for the lamb barbecue. Yeah. No, no, that would take too long. Once the dish is in my mind, I want it in my stomach too, as soon as possible. You mean, now? But we just ate. <laughs> oh, I can always find room for new flavors. No time to waste. Thank you very much, Saijima-san. I'm headed out to the mountain for some deer stew. Uh... Uh, huh? <laughs> Is she serious about going up the mountain? Nah, can't be. No one's that extreme of a foodie, are they? Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh hmm. Wait. Ah, there's a rich dude back there. Help! Somebody! Huh? What's going on? <clears throat> please, oh please, in heaven's name, why does he just have a, a bowl here? What? Oh, delivery man. Uh-oh, fellow delivery man, huh? Is that a delivery guy? He hurt or something? Wait a sec. The road's completely coated in ice. Sir, are you coming to help me? When I slipped, I landed awkwardly, and now I can't move. Also, what is with this music? Yeah, but I cross the street. I'm just as likely to wipe out. What do you expect me to do? Maybe if you just walk carefully. I guess that's the only way, but... Please, there isn't a second to waste. Uh, alright. Guess I should help him. Oh, they didn't even ask me if I wanted to, damn. <sighs> Slippery streets. Hurry to fall into every man. Since the road is dangerously slick with ice, you can approach gingerly. If you run, you might trip. Which is... Okay. How fast can we go? 
with that at like busting our balls. Maybe about that fast. Made it. Are you okay? It doesn't matter. Right now, this ramen is more important. What? Please, I know you don't know me, but could you deliver it? We're almost out of time. Uh, how is this ramen more important than you being hurt? Please, please just help me. Fine, but where am I supposed to take it exactly? The customer is waiting around the corner over there. Huh? This motherfucker couldn't walk! Uh, hey, over here. Hurry it up. Oh no, he's already annoyed. Please, leave me behind. Just save the ramen. Soon the noodles will all get soggy. Okay, okay, I'll take care of this, but you need to relax, fella. Yeah. I can't. I'm still worried about you walking across the slippery road. If you fall, the ramen won't survive. Please be careful. It'll be okay. The ramen's gonna make it. Also, this dead dude's an asshole. <laughs> like, really? He's literally over there. Her customer eagerly waited in full with ramen, approached him gingerly for the roads are very slick, and fall will surely spill the noodles' demise. Keep calm and carry ramen. <laughs> Keep in mind it's not just you facing the dangers of the icy road, other people may slip and slide, causing obstacles that can knock you over. Yeah, this is never gonna be that simple, huh? He was just on the street, but I don't see him. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at them! Look at them slip! <laughs> Is this even a downhill street? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's your order. Thank you, my good man. Kudos to you for making it across such a slick street. If you want to praise someone, he should be the delivery guy over there. I'm just helping him because of how dedicated he is to his job. Ah, a true professional. Well, I'm sure this ramen will be all the tastier for it. Heh, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> Just glad to be useful. You definitely were. And you helped a total stranger. I mean, I just don't have the words to thank you properly. So instead, here's a small gift. Balance bracelet. Huh. Is that going to keep us from, like, getting knocked over? Okay. I'm... I'm going to be honest. Like, I get that we're near mountains. This doesn't seem like there's an incline or anything. So how the fuck? <laughs> Not to mention the car is... Passing by in a good at a good clip. Ah, video game stuff, right? Let's see. Improves balance. Keeps you from stumbling when you run into someone at full speed. I mean, that'll work. We don't have anything else to put on ourselves, so. Oh, that's something else I was going to do. I wanted to go to a pawn shop. Is there one here? These are all restaurants. It's almost all restaurants. Damn. Ebisu is actually at the street. So up and past this main road and then to the left. So I'm probably going to have to go through here. Alright. Am I fording the right way at least? Yeah. <sighs> actually. Wait. Wait a minute. Why is he mad? Isn't this the guy I just gave those noodles? He wants to fight me? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Motherfucker. Alright guys, I think it's the noodles. Now I can whoop your ass. Oh. That's probably a different dude, but he's like standing in the same spot. I'm a little baffled. Ooh, I got another plate though. Cell phone. To my warriors on the warpath. 
Those of you looking the best arrival, win back the girl, or launch your raid on an enemy's turf, announcing the opening of Kamiyama's work Tsukimino, supporting the needs of all you warriors out there. We have a wide range of weapons and equipment available. Come take a look. Now open a Tsukimino. Come by and have a look. Ah! <laughs> On a taxi stand in Nagasa guy. This shot shows a taxi driver helping out a girl being chased by a stalker. The driver looked like an odd character, but he, sh he sure saved the day. That's the only one that we done, by the way. We actually didn't find any other revelations as Kiryu. Wait, what? What? Wait! You guys are arguing with each other! What? Why do I gotta fight now? What? Hold on. Bitch! Yo, how is... Do you realize how heavy these are? Like, they're usually filled with, like, water and shit. How the hell did I pick that up? And break it! Ooh! Little trolley. I can kind of dig them having at least an area where it's like blocked off. Can I get on this? I don't know, it's like blocked off as well. Although I feel like most of the time you have to just like mine trolleys on the road. Which to me seems kind of annoying. It sent me the other way though. Interesting. This guy. Don't mind me, big boy. <clears throat> uh oh. Hmm? What's going on there? An accident? Hmm. Couple of trucks crashed. There's no one hurt by the looks of things. Help! Somebody call the police! The police are coming. Better make myself scarce. There's a fucking bear! It's huge! What the? Oh my gosh, a bear! A bear came out of the truck! It's a bear from the zoo! Everyone run! Call the police! Bear! Everyone move! Run! Uh, someone. Uh oh. Hey, over here. That sounds like a teddy bear compared to Yama Oroshi. I don't know about that. I don't think Yama was that big. <laughs> hey, you, get away. What are you thinking? You. Heh, <sighs> bring it on. I don't mind ya. I, you should. You probably actually should. That's a whole ass bear. We're just gonna beat up another bear. That's a big boy. Do it. Wow, he's got like shit for health. I'm pretty sure that was the same size though. Oh, ass bear. Thank you so much. You saved us. You all right? That was close. Sir, if it weren't for you, it would have been a terrible disaster. I don't have the words to thank you. This isn't very much, but we want you to have it. Damn. 30k? Okay. And if you're willing, we'd love for you to meet our managers at the zoo. Don't want to thank you in person. Can't stick around. Don't want the cops to notice me. Sorry, I gotta get going. Oh, but it's all because of you that no one got hurt. Yeah, but it's fine. I'll just accept your thanks and be on my way. What a guy. He knocked out a bear with just his fists. No one will believe us. <laughs> No one's gonna believe you. It's true. <laughs> Just beat the shit out of a bear. That's the second bear we beat up, by the way. Where did that put us? What? 
This isn't anywhere near where we were, was it? Oh yeah, I guess it was. It just put us at the end of the street. Move. Move. What are these guys doing? <laughs> I heard there's an escape prisoner on the run. Uh, seriously? It's like a total, like a real life action movie. I wonder if the cops are out in force. I wonder if the cops are out in force. What if the prisoner took us hostage? You think my parents will pay the ransom? Why are they just like getting down while they're talking about this? Look at them go. <laughs> hmm. Oof. Sajima will become a Russian folktale legend. This dude in Japan just beats the fuck out of bears, can you believe it? Mm. Oh wow. It actually sells more than than most of the plates. They did say it was top end meat because of the region. Right. What do you got on you? Last time an FF7 asked for it gets stabbed by Sespro. <laughs> Little road just outside the door. So apparently, um, 7 Remake is on sale like half off or some shit. I think there's a few days left until they, that sale's up. So, 7 Remake and then Yakuza. Most of the Yakuza games are on sale. Definitely worth taking a look at. Mm, nothing too crazy, but maybe some salmon ants. <clears throat> Just outside the door. Oh, okay. See, I thought... I thought it was just the door. That it was doing a prompt for. Maybe it is just outside here, though. Middle of the road, okay. Uh... Oh, sp speaking of bears, Jesus. <laughs> uh, middle of the road, just outside the door. Wait, there it is. Hey, yeah, so we're picking up map scraps. And apparently we had to get all the scraps. There's several different maps, all with five pieces each. And after we put it together, we have to figure out a riddle to find the treasure. It's part of an event they're doing for the like winter stuff here. Sporting goods, red sports. Wait, sporting goods... suits? So who can do their first running slide apology best? You just gotta have lamb barbecue when you're in Hokkaido. That's like the signature dish. No, 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 crab! We're having crab tonight! Nah, uh, come on dude, I just wanna talk to that guy. Dueled God to death yet? No. We haven't headed back up the mountain yet. I've been trying to explore here first. And considering that we have banner drop night later, this is probably... We're probably gonna spend today here. And then tomorrow we'll go up the mountain. Although now that we brought that voice actor lady, um... And she says she wants to go up the mountain, we might find her up there. But there's also... That one kid that said he was running away from home to come to the city, so... Haven't run into him yet. Kinda curious where he might have ended up. Get up, stupid. Get up. Get up, I said. Why aren't you getting up? Get up! Ah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> As I keep hitting him with a tank. Hey, you there. I can't shake the feeling of seeing you before. What's your name? 
Ever hear of that celebrity chef Tatsuya? Well, that's me. Maybe you've seen me on TV or something. Oh, right. That's where I've seen you. You're some kind of cooking master, ain't you? Well, I'm not just a cook, exactly. These days, I'm going- I'm doing this fight on as a TV show where I help out local eateries across Japan by coming up with new dishes. I don't get it. If you got ideas for new dishes, why don't you use them at your own restaurant? But that's the whole idea for the program, helping others with my new dishes. With that in mind, I have to ask, could you recommend any eateries here in Tsukimino? I ain't from around here, so I can't really say. Oh, you're a tourist. Ah, no matter. I still have to ask. Would you let me know if you find a great place that serves local cuisines here in Tsukimino? I'll go try it out, and hopefully it will come up with an idea for a new dish. You want me to find tasty eats for you? Ain't that your job? Well, sure, but there's a limit to how much one person can do. I'll take all the help I can get. You got a point there. Think of it as a good deed, but I understand if you're too busy. Fine, I'll give you a hand if I get around to it. <clears throat> Thank you, and don't worry. I'll make it worth your while. I'll use my vast experience of both cooking and eating it to teach you how to make the most of your meals. Fine, fine. I'll let you know if I find anything. Great, thanks. I'm looking forward to your recommendations. This is Tatsuya the Chef. If you come across any good restaurants in Tsukimino, be sure to tell me. I'll be waiting near the Don Quixote. Okay. <clears throat> with this guy. There are cops everywhere. All this just because someone broke out of prison? Ugh. Wish they'd lower our taxes if they were gonna waste money on this circus. <laughs> Fucking amen. Damn. <laughs> Although, let's be honest, there's probably gonna be a tax hike because of that prison fire. Yo, that's... That's not ominous, right? Not even, like, a little bit. Totally nothing bad happens down there. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> why, why did you park it crooked? <laughs> why is it just here? <laughs> Look at this dude. This is a weapon van on the main road. This is Tsukimino branch of Kamiyama Works. What can I do for you today? <laughs> Look at this dude. Uh. Actually, that's a good question. I didn't think about that. Like, what's our weapon levels looking like as, as Saijima? Saijima isn't very well versed in using weapons. He has a tired tendency to just use his fists for everything. If he's using weapons, it's usually just to slam them over someone's head. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So light weapons, two-handed light weapons, have level three in them at least. He's got a two in guns, which, you know, he gunned down several people, if he, even if it was with fake bullets, and then hammers is a three. Hammers being a three makes sense. Big bashy weapon, right? So simple stuff. Stuff you would usually pick up and smack people with counts for one-handed, two-handed light weapons, and then hammers. <clears throat> sledgehammer. Warning sign. We'll do sledgehammer. Big boy. Big weapon. So the interesting thing is, though, this is very much like... Well, I'd say it's very much like your typical open world thing where you can level up anything, but I, it also kind of reminds me more of like 
Final Fantasy 2 where any any character can like just hardcore stack into a stat or like an ability if they want. Scrap. 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 Oh, scrap. Leave me. Good eye. This seems like there'd be a spot for a scrap here. Yo, look at this! Holy shit. I didn't see this one yesterday. That's fucking huge! There's like a whole, like, scene. No. I wonder what that says. Oh, the center one's big too. What is that? What is that? Is this like a mascot? That's kind of cute. Uh, can't get up. Uh. You know, it's kind of a shame that I can't take selfies and stuff like we can in the uh, in the um, Kiwami games. Ooh, there goes a scrap. Is that just a fucking whale? Whale! Oh, whoa. It's like a watchtower. Negative five Celsius. Fuck. Actually, that's probably still cold, but not as cold as it, you know, you would think it would be considering Fahrenheit. Is this a Dargan? That's a Dargan. Oh, it's got like a light in its mouth. That's cool. That's cool. I am looking at this. <laughs> There's another scrap over there. I'm going to bed with my hot water bottle every night lately. Oh. Isn't it a pain to fill those up with hot water yourself? You should be fine as long as you turn up your heater. <laughs> But the newest ones have super cute covers. I had this fluffy one and it's so adorable. I want to cuddle right up with it. And why not get a body pillow instead? Sif shoulder girl. No need. The bottles come in lots of shapes. You can wrap it around your neck and hang it on your shoulder. There's one that wears like shoes too. Wow, my shoulders have been killing me lately. I should give one of those a try. Hot water bottles for cold days, huh? Maybe I could talk about that at a cabaret club. You shouldn't be going to cabaret clubs anyway because you're a wanted man. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, I'm gonna rat your ass out. Who <laughs> <laughs> yet? Get off me. No. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I need you to fuck off. I am doing important research. I need you to stop thinking you're hot shit and let me pick this up. Get away! Oh my god, dude, give it a fucking rest. I want to rip the fucking pole out. Oh my god, I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. Don't you guys have parents to be mad at or some shit? Like, fuck off. No. Oh, I can't. I can't right now, but apparently that's gonna be an option at some point. You guys are getting on my last fucking nerve. I swear to god. Oh, well, now you're scared. Maybe I gotta have heat for it? Probably not, but I need the heal anyway. There it is! Fuck you. That would have been cooler if I could have done it earlier, but fine. You guys wanted to not fucking cooperate. Oh. 
Oh, wait, what? Who the fuck are you and why are you bothering me? Go somewhere. Oh, did I not pick up the, the scrap in time before they like try to get me? Damn it. Alright, I have to go back and get it then. It says the only reason I was going over here is I saw that earlier. God damn it. Alright. Move! Soul Festival staffer. Why can't people ever do things right? What's wrong? Oh, um, I'm the Snowfall Snow Festival Operations Manager. My staff pulled a boneheaded move that might ruin everything. I just learned that no one ordered sight mats for the visitors. If we don't order them right now, the printers won't have enough time, but... Uh, darn it. Let's keep it, yeah. Order it now. I'd love to, but my memory is foggy when it comes to which snow statues are which at which locations. And I can't leave my post to go check. My staff is too busy doing a million other things. I get it. You're under Matt. Exactly. You understand. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe you have some spare time? Huh? I hate to impose, but would you be willing to check the snow statue locations? Me? I can't pay you, but I could give you a festival souvenir for your efforts. It shouldn't take long, and it would be a huge help. I don't know. That's asking a lot. Oh, please. We're desperate. So, you want me to see what statues are on the site and where, right? Yes. I'll be right here when you come back. I have to be, after all. Uh... Hmm. I don't like this. This isn't gonna be like a memory game or some shit, because I'm not gonna remember any of this. He didn't actually tell me how to do that. Hold on. Let me double check with him. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is exactly... This is exactly what I was hoping it wasn't gonna be. Fuck. I'm looking this one up. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you where the snow statues are. Fantastic! Let's get right to it. While your memory's fresh, my memory, my ass. So looking at the side from here, there's a giant slide facing the slide from the front. What's to your right? Magic girl. Facing the slide to the right, some girl like with a wand? Not sure what she's supposed to be. Oh, yes, yes, that's right, I remember now. That's the magic girl statue. Okay. The next one I need to know about. Which snow statue is right in the middle? Some seals, a slide. Seals. Okay. Oh yeah, the whale is in the, like, the far other end. So the seals are smack dab in the middle. Oh, right! There were seals! This is very helpful. Across from the slide, there's another diorama. A massive one, if I recall. What did it feature? A whale. That one I actually remembered. That'd be a whale. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the whale, even though it's so big. There's only one statue left to confirm, and the small one next to the penguin. A fox? There was a fox. Next to the penguin. Hmm. A 
fox. Ah, that's where the fox is. Okay. I know the locations of all the statues now. Well, thank you very much. Can't imagine what a big help that was. Oi, you there. Yes. I got the site layout with all the statue locations. It's all in this note. So go have the site map printed, okay? <laughs> Understood. I have the place to order the printers now. Thank you again. We couldn't have done it without you. Please accept this as a souvenir for the event. Thanks. And hey, good luck on... Good luck. Looking forward to your snow festival. We got a mystery rock. Which is apparently a big deal. I'm assuming it's just another crafting material, but... Ah, yes, Rick. A perfect... A rock's perfect for snowball fights. Man, no snowball Rick's here. Oh. Scrap! Day is faded in light. Its beauty is gorgeous in its fleeting frailty, but it's nothing compared to yours. <laughs> Seriously? Who says that? <laughs> Roasted. This is a huge fuck off castle? That's your clear. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this about? It's like a stage and everything. Hopefully it wasn't near the- it wasn't near the cup. Okay, hold on. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. What is with the- oh no. What is this shit? What is wrong with you? What am I going to do? I'm stumped. What's this wacky getup? A street performer or something? Hmm? Sorry, sir. I'm not performing right now. Yeah. You sure about that? The way you're dressed, I'm expecting you to squirt water out of your flower any second. I just met with the festival organizers. I haven't had a chance to change. Whatever. You take care. Oh, no. Wait. Stay a moment. Eh? You came to see the snow festival, didn't you? Can I get your opinion on something? Depends. On what? My name's Inari. I was invited to add a little pizzazz to the festival, so I put it together a few acts to show the organizers. And they didn't like any of it. They want me to do something with a local bent. Something that fits the snow festival theme. A street performance with a snow festival theme. The hell would that be? Exactly! I have no idea! Snow is white. Maybe something white? White sugar? I could bake a cake while juggling. Ah, uh, that's stupid. And I'm running out of time. So you're asking some random passerby for ideas? I thought a visitor might have a fresh perspective on on the snow festival. Not me. I ain't even been here for the snow festival. Oh? Well, I just assumed. I'm quite yeah. sorry. It's fine. Look, I feel for you. But I ain't exactly a guy who thinks of candy-ass festival ideas. Sure. But hey, if you see anything around here that inspires you, come back and tell me. I'm not trying to enlist you. Just please, if you happen to be stuck, struck by an idea, I'd love to hear it. You're some kind of, you're some kind of desperate. All right, if I find something interesting, I'll let you know. Arigato. Thank you. Snow festival theme, huh? These snow statues gotta be it. Might as well have a look at them. Hmm. Snowman's huge. How many hours did some poor yap spend rolling these snowballs? Heck, rolling a giant snowball is something. Maybe that's an idea for the street performer. Yeah, I don't think these are even for the contest. These are just for the stage. <laughs> that was like one of the volunteers or something that had to do that. This is even bigger. What the fuck? Bruh. It's funny revelations. So actually, no. Um, Mac just somehow, some way messaged our phone and enlisted us to take pictures of revelations around town that being said 
After we do his sub story, he might be the subject of a revelation. Cause that's that's kind of how it works in this game. You don't just find them randomly around town. You gotta do something first, and then they show up. It's a little it's a couple extra steps. Yeah, the Phantom Mech. Cause the funny thing about it is, is that we literally got a burner phone. Like, there's no way he should know who we are. Or that we'd even have that phone. And yet, we got him. We got an email from him. This thing has m music and everything. The fuck? And there's a motorcycle here. I get the feeling we might fight here at some point. <laughs> Muted KPP. Oh no. Could you imagine if that actually got us? If it does, I'm totally- <laughs> I'm gonna fucking flip, I swear to god. Oh, hello. So there's gotta be a reason they had this walkway here. We could probably rip that out of his base too. Oh. Move. Move. You're in your, your smaller clone buddy. Move. You think about half of these spots where we're finding these scraps. If they're actually just paper, then we're just finding them like lodged in snow. It's like, how have they not gotten like soggy and unreadable? Oh, Homeboy said he was gonna be staying near the Don Quixote. Where is that? Is that what this is? Oh, yeah, there goes his icon right there, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Actually, the place that we went to with that girl should be a spot that we can tell him about, too. I don't know if we have to go back ourselves to eat there. The lamb barbecue is a big deal in this region, everyone says. Does it count if we just hit there? Or do we actually have to eat there? I'm a little curious of that. Thought I saw something on the floor. Hmm? Game Dragon Station. Oh. 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 The ca the camera shifted and everything. Like, hey, maybe you should go down this scary alley, away from the rest of the shopping center. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh God. What is it with all these people passed out in alleys? Hey, you alright? Uh, the man's freezing. Gotta get some warm food in him. I don't got none of that. What the fuck? From where? Can I go back to that restaurant or do I have to get some like pickup stuff? Hmm. Let me see something. Cafe Alps, Yoza King. Siki Mina might have something. There's two people here. I heard there's a prisoner on the loose. You don't think they'd cancel the snow festival because of that, do you? I tried to get my boyfriend to propose to me there. I hope they let that prisoner behind bars again soon. Uh, lady? <laughs> It's a good thing you didn't see the TV report, I guess. None of these thugs have tried to show Saijima to the openers. It, like they have Kiryu. Yeah! They just yell at him. <laughs> they don't try to touch him. Like, I, I'm gonna get you. 
Well, hold up. I need to... Need to take some time. I feel like that's not quite the answer. What's up with you? Aren't you? No. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Huh? What do you want? I'm from the Sikimino Tourism Board. Right now we're running a campaign to raise Sikimino's profile as a tourist destination. An advertising campaign. Sounds like a good idea. Yes, I'd like you to take some photos of places around Tsukiminos that are musty landmarks. The photos you take will be used in pamphlets and posters promoting Tsukimino as a tourist destination. If you can shoot five sightseeing spots for me, I'd give you a fabulous gift. I ain't got a camera though. No problem, we can lend you one. I have a high-end single lens reflex camera to give you. Yeah? How much are you going to charge me? Oh no, I'll loan it to you for free. I don't need you to give away to reach in case something happens though. Hmm, guess there ain't many reason to turn him down. Might as well take out the offer. Yeah, I'll do it. Great, here's the camera. Hey, look at him all posed up. You can find me here during the campaign. Come back once you've shot five locations. Good luck out there. Why does this guy just have cameras to just give us all the time? I guess I'll take a walk and find some good scenery. Can't go down there. Hold on. Getting distracted. Quarter, quarter of the year with this game. Yeah, the snow sculptures are almost too easy, right? Hey, can you eat this? But there's probably some other stuff too, like the main road, maybe the shopping area. Hey, looks like you're feeling better. Thank you. I am feeling better. My name's Kayama, by the way. I'm Saijima. Can't be easy being homeless in the snow. Yeah, it's no winter wonderland for guys like me. The nights are just awful. Can you sleep? Only if I'm exhausted. I try to find a good spot with a roof. Subway entrance or something. I'm bundled up with my blankets. Even then, the cold is something terrible. I try to stay awake all night. Sleeping during the day is safer, because you're less likely to freeze to death. Yeah. I see. I lived here a long time, but I can't keep this up. That's why I'm making my way to Tokyo. Warmer there. Maybe I could start over somehow. You won't be as cold there, but the city's got more troublemakers, you know. You okay for money? Sometimes I get by... Sometimes I get day labor jobs from the government, and I've been saving up. It's gonna cost me 10,000 yen to get to Tokyo. That's the goal. If you don't mind, I can help you with money. You've already helped me enough, but thank you for the offer. I'm close to my goal, and I want to finish it on my own. Alright, got it. I've got work today. In fact, I should go now. Sure, you take care. I get the feeling we're gonna run into him again. Uh, Got another scrap, damn. So that's the nice thing about this city in particular, is that it's pretty small. Um, it's not hard to get a good amount of stuff going. It's actually no throughway here. This is just that over by a long shot. Oh, you got fucked up. You got fucked up. I'm sorry. Lady, you almost got fucked up. Yeah! Ah, uh, there you are. You find any great places? Yeah, I sure did. Miyoshino. Betty would like Miyoshino. Okay, let's go. This is <laughs>
Wow, that was delicious. And it should really help me come up with an idea for a new dish. Let me give you some advice to thank you for telling me about such a great place. Each dish you eat contains all sorts of ingredients, each one with its unique flavor, texture, and nutritional content. And that about some- <laughs> I like how I was about to be like, oh no, is he gonna say the same shit again? He did, but we already did it with Kiryu, so they just get it. I'll try to remember that when I eat. There we go. So now we can start doing food stuff with Saejima. <gasps> Look at that doggy. Look at that dog. Look at these animals. Sort of pet store. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them. Actually, hold on. Because normally getting the gourmet abilities means we can kind of eat past our health. So let's get to that. Cheese curry. Something about cheese curry sounds like it would probably be good, but like looking at it or hearing about it sounds disgusting. But I bet it's probably actually good. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Is that just because I was near you? Yeah, okay. I kind of thought the shopping center would have been... I need to pick up some local gifts for friends back home. There's so much good stuff to choose from. Marimo. I beg your pardon? How about Marimo Moss Balls? Marimo. Photograph. Up, up, up. Hmm. This is a nice spot. You're backwards though. You're not. You're not facing the thing. <laughs> yeah, this shot ain't bad. Always looks like a sewage slot into rice. <laughs> it always just. It always looks like this sewage slot into the, the rice. Oh my god. I mean that's real. Um, fucking. I was on a student ambassador trip, in high school. And um, at the Great- we went to the Great Barrier Reef because we went to Australia. And they actually had on like a uh, <clears throat> on like a water stand where you could like snorkel and stuff. The food there, they had curry. And it was the first time I ever ate, and I think the only time I've ever eaten curry. And it was fucking amazing. It wasn't no cheese curry, I'll tell you that. But goddamn. I scarfed down a shit ton of that stuff while I was there. <laughs> Yo, we got bowling here. This is the only time we've had like another bowling alley to go to. And as you expect, it's not super big, but it gets the job done. I kind of miss having toilets to do. <laughs> Shit was so funny. Which ball? Oh god, decisions, decisions. <sighs> so we're getting close to banner drop night. I'll probably do this and try to find a payphone real quick. I'll do three frames. I keep forgetting I don't have an extra hour to like fuck around, so I like I was hanging out in Maniac Stream and I realized it's like uh oh. It's like 8 30. Shit. 
<laughs> I should have started like a half hour ago. No. Oh, we can actually pick the... Okay. So this is a little bit more in line with how it was in Zero. We can actually pick different um, weighted balls for this now. In the direction. Power. And then the spin. Whoop! The outside going in. All right. Good shot. So normally, How's you, know, you wouldn't be able to choose the weight. We can go. Speed, speedy Billy. <laughs> Simple green. Let's try the thirteen pounder. Oh my god! It's got like a really fast bit on it. Got that spin this like a motherfucker. That was quick. I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Is that just because of the the weight? I wonder. Hey. Ah, I should have made it come in more. Uh, yeah. It's flipping me to bird. That's more in line with what I wanted. I didn't even have to put that much spin on it, I don't think. There you go. That is faster, isn't it? Spin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You talk about what the hell is going on with the song in the background too. Sounded like some fucking boys to men shit. Talking to me? Yeah. The name's Gachita. Seeing you hurl that ball with authority was really something else. That massive build, your musk. Okay, I don't like that he said musky macho ness. <laughs> I swear, just looking at you is making the hairs in the back of my neck stand on end. I have to have you as my rival. What the hell? Here's my phone number. Please take it. Call me if you ever need a bowling buddy. I'd be more than happy to join you, big guy. See ya! Apparently, we are a panty dropper. That <laughs> dude. You can now call up your rival to play competitive bowling. Getting all the bowling dudes hot and bothered. My god. So actually, even in even in Zero and some of the other ones that have bowling, normally you didn't have rivals. I remember there was a really weird um, side story where you could get a chicken. 
for one of your real estate buddies. <laughs> but, um... Normally you just play the staff and that's about it. Oh god. And then of course, like when you're kitty, you can play with, um... Haruka. This motherfucker pushed us, bitch! Woo! Get out of here. Uh. Fucked up. That's so why you don't push. Yep. <laughs> oh, there it was. There it be. You fucked up. This bit. He just ran up and like jabbed our bag. Like, eh, take that. Eh. <laughs> really, dude? That's all I needed. Give me this. I gotta hold it. Okay, so like much like his other attacks, we have to hold it in order to do it. Okay. Move. Where's the nearest payphone? Payphone's up top. There's a lot of side stories going on. There's some across the street, too. A handy buff. Yep. Being able to beat people's ass for longer. Always a good thing. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right, the one across the street. Can't just be any old payphone. What the fuck? I can't. Hello? <laughs> Why is there a barrier here? Gotta cross the street like a regular person, I guess. No jaywalking here, says the video game. <clears throat> oh my lordy. Nine fifty nine. You know, <laughs> leave it to Yakuza to have a lot of bullshit happen in less than an hour and a half. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> just a quick smoke, I guess. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> 